Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? I'm Maddie Matheson, and today on Cook It Something, we're gonna be doing something really special, something that I've been eating for a very long time. Maybe a lot of people aren't gonna be like, oh my God! But you know what? I'm like, oh my God! Because guess what? Today, I'm making pork goulash with a crispy potato pancake. Grab your galoshes. Were galoshes. Did that one work? Grab your galoshes, because we're goulashing. We're gonna get a bacon's. I'm gonna kind of cut it, and we want little pieces, so I'm just gonna run my knife over it. I've never made pork goulash before. That's enough. About like half a cup, a cup. I've eaten it a lot. We're gonna do a tablespoon of pork fat. It's probably one of the best things ever. Put that in there and let that cook because that's just gonna be nice. We got two carrots. We got one red pepper. Take out the seeds. And we're just gonna dice this up. There we go. We're gonna blend it. And I'm not gonna add any liquid to this or anything. I'm just gonna blend this up. Oh yeah. You go get a schnitzel, a couple pierogies. You get a pork goulash in ya. The middle of winter, the snow's coming down. It's an incredible feeling. And I want people to feel that feeling. And so we're gonna throw in our blended carrot and red pepper. I think only one and a half an onion is gonna be perfect for this. Here we go. And then we're gonna blend our onion. Oh yeah. We're gonna cook all this onion and carrot and red pepper down. Oh mama. Now we have our pork butt. I think half is gonna be plenty. And we're gonna cut this up into kind of like little chunks. I'm gonna put this meat in blonde where I don't brown it and I'm gonna build up our base. Then I'm gonna put it in and we're gonna cook it down. Now we're gonna put in our spices, okay? You gotta fly with the eagles, you gotta fucking slither with the snakes sometimes. You know what I'm saying? When you brush your teeth with tin foil, that's the best way. That's what my father used to say, if you have no fillings. Why if you have fillings you can't put tin foil in your mouth? Because of the electricity actually in your body, you're a fucking electric eel. We're all eels, lizard people. World's flat. You ever dig a, a hole in the ground? You think Australia is right here? My French here. Very, very wrong. Wow, look at that. Very dank flavor, okay? Tastes like tomato paste with a bunch of spices. <laughs> now, we're gonna let it out with some chicken stock just to get it to a nice place. Looks pretty amazing. Look at this sauce, wow. We're gonna add our pork to it, then we're gonna adjust with some chicken stock. Let's see. Let's just give this a little bit of a stir up here. Okay, I'm gonna add some more pork. So I guess it is one whole pork butt. We're just gonna cut away all the meat away from the bone. Then we're gonna even throw the bone in there. I'm gonna maybe put this in a bigger pot. We got a bigger pot? What's the biggest pot we got? We're switching out the pot. I'm going big here now. There we go. Cooking at home. You know, we're learning very quick. We're gonna throw in our pork bone, throw that in. Now we're just gonna cut up the rest of our pork meat. You know, I didn't know if we were gonna make a big goulash. I thought we were just gonna make a little goulash. But then, as we're cooking... Makes a big goulash. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> goulash. Woo! Okay. I ended up using the whole shoulder or the pork butt, whatever I call it, it's the same shit. Now, I'm just gonna just barely cover it with chicken stock. Oh yeah. We're in a much better place than before. I'm gonna throw in a couple bay leaves in. I'm gonna taste just for salt right now. And this is a bunch of raw pork, so don't do this at home. I, I pretty much live in a fortress of diarrhea. Me doing stuff like that really doesn't kinda freak me out. Good or bad days, it's all coming out loose. Mm. So if you wanna taste something that you just put a bunch of raw pork into, go ahead. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. My little bit of salt's about two tablespoons, I feel. Uh, we're gonna put this into the oven at 325. Preheat the oven. While that's preheating, I'm gonna bring this up to a little bit of a simmer here. So we're just gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Sounds like a bad one, bro. Babble babble. Sounds like you're on the little cornerstone of a babbling brook over there. You're on their little, little drawbridge. Got a little babbling brook underneath you babbling away. What'd I just say? We're gonna put the top on, entree vu, in the oven. Set your timers for two hours. We're gonna check that literally in two hours. I guarantee your biscuits are done. Talk to you soon. 
yo, 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 we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them into our blender. Now we're gonna blend them up. Just give them a pulse. Okay, I think they're blended. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna press on this. I'm just gonna let the liquid leach out. We're gonna add a grated onion to this mixture. Like half of a half of an onion. That's probably enough onion. I'm just moving around, not really pressing on it, trying to get some of that natural liquid out. Just gonna let that sit there, okay? Usually, this plane crash ends well. I still have not really ever not landed the plane. And you know why? Because of editing. And you know why? Because I can pull a rainbow out of my ass at any moment. You look up and you're like, wow, what the fuck is that? And you're like, is that a rainbow out of Maddie's ass? And you're like, yes, sir. There's all these children, they're outside playing, and all of a sudden this big bright rainbow comes out. Like, you smell that? And you look at me like, Grandpa, yeah, that's a rainbow out of Maddie's ass. It's so crazy. The starch solidifies at the bottom, almost like, like lard. So when I pour off, I'll be able to pour off all this liquid. So check this out. See that white stuff at the bottom? That's all the natural starch. Look at the amount of water coming out of three potatoes. We're gonna take our potato here, our potato pulp. We got our starch at the bottom. Get that going here. We're gonna crack one egg. Boom. One egg in there. This is whole wheat flour. Boom. Boom. So two tablespoons. We're gonna add that and we're gonna mix that in. We're gonna add our salt and pepper. Hey! So this was like my practice one. I'm trying to figure out how this batter, how we make it. It tastes like, it tastes fucking good. Let's fry up a potato pancake, shall we? Get your non-stick, we're gonna go heat. I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of lard. Get your pan warm, not hot. The plan here is that we fill the whole bottom of the pan. And we get this going here. This is gonna be nice, look at this, okay. See, I get all freaking tweaked out. Just gonna let that sit there. Do you guys wanna check out and see how the goulash is doing actually? <laughs> cooking stuff, you know? Fucking cooking something. Here we go. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that goulash. Little piece. Oh, really good flavor in here. The pepper, the paprika. Mm. Another hour. Another hour on that, we're flying. We're in a good place here. We got our galoshes on and we're flipping and flopping down this Babylon Brook. And guess what, where we landed? Potato cake hell. But guess what, we came out the other side. We got down on our knees and we looked up to fucking Jesus H. Christ's. We said, Jesus, you help me out here and I'll fucking suck on your feet all day. I'll wash them, I'll scrub them. Are we gonna do a flip? Whoa, psych, full commit, fuck. Fuckers. So I made one batter, we made it. It cracked, I fucked it up a little bit. We're learning. I made another batter. Same ingredients, exact same. Want more lard. I'm gonna put less in and kind of spread it out thinner. So we're going in. I'm gonna add this much. And as it heats up, you can kind of push it around. And I just keep kind of working it. And I'm gonna just do a little bit of salt. Oh, there we go, we got movement. So now it's like one. So now we can kind of just move it around. Just frying it up, taking our time, learning from our mistakes. We're working through it. Okay, should I try to flip it? Okay, here we go. Baboosh! Now that looks like something. That's real nice. Let's get this out, okay? Let's make another one. Here we go, pancake. They're kind of very forgiving. You can really kind of push them around and take your time. Don't get too stressed out and just keep kind of working it and you get it to that point and then just leave it. Ah. <laughs> we'll land this plane. Every day is a voyage. We go up. We gotta come down. It's natural sciences of gravity. Okay, you ready? We're gonna flip it. 
Yeah! This one looks good too. And this is gonna be our last pancake we're making today. It's been a really fun time. I'm gonna go in the bathroom and shove my head in the toilet and flush. And hopefully I get sucked into the fucking underground plumbing system of the beautiful Tennessee country and uh, flushed out into the uh, Alabama River. What is it? The Cumberland River. I'm gonna get sucked out into the Cumberland River. Hopefully a paddleboardist thinks I'm a fucking manatee, chokes me out, and I can stop doing all of this. Hey, hey everybody! Let's check on our goulash. We had our oven set at 350 degrees. We put our goulash in, I would say two and a half to three hours later. Oh, we got a bubbling. I think we got goulash, everybody. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Just about to eat a steaming hot piece of goulash. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is fucking good. Now you want me to show you how easy this is? Put your pancake down three quarters of your plate, okay? And now we take our goulash and we just kind of fill it up. Boom. And then we take our pancake and we just fold it over. And we take our cream, sour cream. Oof. Little dillies, little fresh cracked pep. Ooh. Little beet salad is delicious. <laughs> a little cucumber salad. This is just like lemon juice, a little vinegar, a little oil. That looks like a really nice meal. I landed the motherfucking plane. I landed the plane. The plane has been landed. You know when you go to Cancun and there's a bunch of fucking idiots on the plane and they land and they've never been on a plane before and they, they clap because the plane lands? Guess what? This one's for you, you fucking idiots. We did it, die! Pina colada in your ass. Have a beautiful day. I'm Maddie Matheson. I'm not even going to take a bite of this. God bless America. It's fine. We got an ending. That was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some fucking views. Look at it. That looks. That's a nice plate of food. Yeah. Pull that one out.